that time of season. <laughs> Hello guys, what is up? My name is Sophia. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, so glad to have you here. I did a video very, very similar to this one last year, and I'm pretty sure it's just titled How I Make Team Gifts. I'll link it down below um, if you want to go back and watch that. I went a little bit more in depth, so definitely go check that video out if you want a little bit more like knowledge behind it. So yeah, let's just get into it. So for those of you who don't know, I am a competitive all-star cheerleader. I cheer at Top Gun on a team called Double O. I have been on the team for two years. This is my third year now on the team for our team for pretty much every like competition major event or like anything like that we'll typically get some kind of like goodie bags otherwise known as team gifts i want to put a huge disclaimer out there the entire team for the most part helps contribute financially and like helps out with these team gifts it's not just me like completely paying for everything out of my own pocket like let's be honest we're all just struggling out here we're all just trying to you know get it together but i do have all of the resources and equipment to make this stuff. So before I even get into this video, I just need to put that out there. I'm not paying for all of this. The entire team really helps chip in and helps out with you know the financials and a little bit more of like that kind of stuff. And then I'm the one that actually like makes it, puts it all together, designs it, puts it into fruition. Moving on. <laughs> so what are team gifts, right? Like what does team gifts consist of? So team gifts are basically like a goodie bag of team like merchandise more or less. I pretty much will make anything from tank tops, sports bras, shorts, uh, hoodies, like clothing, you know, merchandise, and then some accessories like bag tags, uh, makeup bags, sometimes like uniform bags, like pretty much any Anything like that hand sanitizers even like we pretty much have done honestly I forget all the stuff that I've done because we've done a lot so I have a couple different machines that I use to make these things but if you're looking at this like Sophia I want to be able to make that kind of stuff for my team or for myself a couple of like the most important things and pieces that you need two major pieces of equipment a cricket machine and a heat press those are the two machines that are like probably the most important that I use for almost every single team gift or like item that I do. When it comes to like bag tags and that kind of stuff, we use a laminator. Okay, so first things first, prepping for team gifts, right? This is not something that we do overnight, right? Like it's, it's a lot of work. So we actually start planning team gifts months in advance. We're actually working on planning some team gifts for the season. Just to show, it's literally September, okay? It's a lot of planning. You have to leave time to order things. You've gotta leave time to make sure that you have materials. You have to leave time for those materials to arrive. You have to give time for what if, you know, something gets lost in the mail, all of that kind of stuff. And then on top of that, when it comes to actually designing and making the stuff, we can't just come up with a design, slap it on the clothes, give it to the team and call it a day. This is a very tedious process which is why we start it like months in advance <laughs> so that we have plenty of time to do it. Everything needs to get approved because this is obviously not my logo. This isn't like my, you know, stuff. Like it's just, I'm just making it as like gifts for the team. Most of the time we will come up with two-ish like different designs for each piece. So like, let's say I want to do a tank top and I've got this one design concept. I'll normally do like one or maybe two if I'm not too sure, different design options. I'll show it to the coaches and I'll kind of see like if they enjoy it, what kind of vibe they're going for, if they like it. This is kind of potentially an idea for a template design. Most of the time they'll be pretty down for it and they'll just be like, oh my god, yes, it looks awesome. Like, let's do it. And then it's like, okay, great, done. Sometimes they will have their own ideas for things that they want and they'll come to me and be like, hey, like, so, so we're thinking about doing something like this. It's definitely a major joint process. Okay, so now let's get into actually like making the clothes, right? So for this specific event, we had Camp Geneva. The color scheme of Double O has been very like neutral, like black, white, gray, maybe some yellow for Top Gun. But this year we really wanted to like spice it up and do something more colorful. A lot of people on the team really liked the colors pink and blue. We had a practice wear set, I think, last year that actually was pink and blue and everybody loved it. Um, I didn't make that one, but that was one of our team practice sets and everybody loved the color scheme. We were super down for it. So I was like, oh my gosh, like, Cool. They're definitely like winning colors. Let me try to do something with that. They're these like teal sports bras and they're so, so cute. So we're actually rhinestoning the double O onto them in like this design. This sports bra is like fully done right now. So this is the kind of like little design we're going for. It's pretty simple, but still cute. And it's in the pink, which I think is actually adorable. And then the tank tops are gonna be kind of similar in the design, but the tank tops are actually neon pink. Look roughly like this. <laughs> I have hand sanitizer bottles and we also have masks because you know, we're not trying to get sick here. Our biggest thing when it comes to like making this stuff is wanting it to be as simple but unique as possible. Like I want people to look at that and be like, oh my God, so cute, but like 
so like I don't want it to be too over the top right I was like okay I definitely want it to be that pink and blue color scheme but also like let's try to spice it up so that it's not the exact same thing on both the boys and the girls everybody got pink tank tops and then we also did blue sports bras for the girls let me tie in the blue in the tank top but then make it pop on the girls a little bit more I think the number one question that I have gotten thus far is rhinestones and how we do the rhinestones I knew for a fact that I wanted to do rhinestones on the first set of like clothes that the team got. I really need to go like all out here. I want it to be like super iconic. Everybody knows that I can do rhinestones now. Like I want it to be great. The templates we create using this software called Sure Cuts A Lot. We have to make the template first and then we print out the template using a certain vinyl on the Cricut machine. Basically, the way that we create the rhinestones is through using a specific type of vinyl that is actually like almost like template vinyl. And we use the Cricut machine and then this software called Sure Cuts A Lot, which I'm pretty sure you can just download onto your computer. With Sure Cuts A Lot, you kind of have a designed idea in mind. For us, it was just like the font of Double O written out. And then in Sure Cuts A Lot, it'll take that design and turn it into circles. We're basically like moving around. All these little circles are the little holes where the rhinestones will go in. Then you kind of move around the circles, make it fit the way you want it to. Then we upload that into the Cricut machine. And then the Cricut machine then cuts it out so that it punches out those little holes on the vinyl that we then use as the template for the rhinestones. Once all of those holes are punched out, you take the rhinestone and we literally just dump them onto the template. We kind of like use this little brush to push all the rhinestones into place where they're supposed to be. And we get the really itty bitty ones. Sometimes turn them over like that and do that with like the rest of them pretty much. And just keep brushing them until they all get into the little holes. That's pretty much how we do the rhinestone template. And then we just heat press the rhinestones right onto the clothes. Is it tedious? Yes. Does it take forever? Yes, but it's also really calming and soothing and relaxing and fun, so. And it looks really cute. <laughs> that is kind of the foundation of like the whole rhinestone thing. Now we have the sports bras, the tank tops, and the gator masks. When it comes to the sports bras, again, I just wanted them to be blue, and I was like, let me have them pop with some pink in the rhinestones. So we did the rhinestone template, slapped the pink rhinestones onto there, and that was pretty much it. The font was just a super cute little font that kind of went with the whole vibe that we were going for. And so that was with the sports Sports bras in general, our biggest hack when it comes to heat pressing everything is pressing the clothes once first before you put anything on it to really flatten out the surface. And with the tank tops, we had, I think, three different layers. So we had the rhinestone layer that went on first. Then we had just like this blue strip <laughs> that was going to be like the background for like the white top gun. We pressed down the blue strip and then we had the white top gun that went over that. We thought it would be kind of cute to do like kind of off-centered a little bit just so that it was something kind of different, you know? For the gator mask, we pressed it once, but it was two separate pieces of vinyl. So it was the white double O and then the yellow name on it. All of the clothing is pretty much done, which is clothing, the, doing the clothing is honestly like my favorite part. I think it's so, so fun. Next would be all the extras, like the fun little extra stuff that we get, including like bag tags, snacks, little emergency kits, the hand sanitizers, like all that little stuff. When it comes to the bag tags, I'm pretty sure I did a whole like vlog where I included a little bit more in depth how I make bag tags. I want to say it was my prepping for UCA vlog. Also try to link that one down below if you want a little bit more insight into that. But basically with the bag tags, pretty much just throw the design into the Cricut machine, print it out on like cardstock kind of paper, and then we just put it in the laminator and it's laminated. We have the bag tags, which is one of everybody's favorite, favorite things. We do bag tags for pretty much every single thing, honestly, because we just need a way to label the stuff. <laughs> and I'm very, very big on making things reusable. We want everyone to be able to keep everything. One of our favorite things is being able to like give out a bag and every single thing including the bag you can keep and reuse and you don't have to throw anything out so the bag tags are definitely a super super fun and exciting little extra and then and obviously you can hang it on your bags so that everybody knows the team you're on with the hand sanitizers full credit to my mom for that one because she fully did that herself and i'm pretty sure she just printed out these labels and stuck them on the hand sanitizer bottles. The snacks, we just threw in there extra for Geneva because it was a sleepaway camp, so we just wanted to have snacks like as fun little extra um, in the bag. The emergency has to be one of my favorite gifts that we've ever given out, like ever. Since we have started doing team gifts, this little emergency kit has been one of the most popular, loved, and useful things. We basically do this little, little teeny tiny uh, 
like bag or pouch or something. It's kind of like an emergency kit for if you get any kind of like sickness or not aren't feeling well. So in years past, we've done like little packets of emergency, Advil, Aleve, a cough drop, um, tissues, wipes, makeup remover wipe, all this crazy stuff. For this one, for Camp Geneva, obviously with everything going on, we wanted to make it very, very on point with the season. So we did Aleve, emergency, Advil. We did like a little uh, mask, like a disposal mask, gloves, hand wipes like that kind of stuff so that's something super fun that people can literally just throw it in their backpack and have it with them the entire time god forbid like anything happens that you're not feeling well you get sick you have this teeny tiny little bag that pretty much has everything you could possibly need that's all the actual stuff that we get right let's talk packaging pretty much everything is like set and ready it's just now packaging it all i have all of the bags right here they've all got the snacks, the care packages, the hand sanitizers, and the bag tags um, inside. So now I literally just need to put the clothes, package it all up. We're gonna wrap it kind of like this in a little like clear cellophane bag. And um, so we put that then into the bag and then we're gonna tie a little ribbon around it. Packaging is probably, I keep saying everything is like my favorite part, but I just love this stuff so much. So <laughs> packaging has to be one of my favorite, favorite, favorite parts of the team gifts. Literally putting the finishing touch on the whole thing and like the presentation behind it. When you get a package in the mail and it's like wrapped super cute or just like it's a, your favorite color or something like that, it just makes it so exciting. My biggest thing with doing team gifts is making the packaging as appealing, if not more appealing than what's inside of it. Because I want people to be super surprised. Like as soon as they see the bags, we want people to be like, oh, <gasps> What is in there? Oh my god, I need it right now. You know what I mean? As I stated before, one of the things that we really, really try to do is make the packaging reusable. However, sometimes the cheapest and cutest thing is just a quick, quick little bag. These are the perfect kind of bags for like the team gifts and stuff. Yeah, We're actually taking a couple of those. For Geneva, we did these little, um, bags that were just super cheap and easy to find at I think like Michael's or Hobby Lobby to make it a little bit more fun do them in different colors so like all the bags were kind of different colors I think we had like four different color options I believe it was pink blue like this coral color and purple and we were giving them out everyone's like oh my god what color did I get and it was like super exciting but of course because we can't just be like basic and just give out a bag at first we thought oh like let's put some tissue paper inside it so that it could be like a little bit more of a present style I like to be able to see everybody's reaction Actions when they open the stuff up just because like I know what we're getting so I live vicariously through everybody else So I hate when they can like peek through and like see what it is before I can see their reaction if that makes sense so I really wanted to figure out a way to like close the bag right the tissue paper is just gonna be annoying and people are gonna have to like Take it out and stuff, but the ribbon it's like oh you can like tie it shut and now We know one can peek inside before they're supposed to one of our favorite things to do is use tool not ribbon Tool. tool is very similar to ribbon, but it's a lot thinner and it's kind of like more flexible, if you will. It's also a lot cheaper and in my opinion, cuter. So we're gonna use yellow um, tool and we're going to basically just punch holes into the bags right in between the handles so that then we can slide the tool through the bags and basically just like tie it in a cute little bow or maybe just a knot. That'll be it so that it'll be tied shut. Nothing was gonna fall out and people could have it as a nice little present with a bow You could just untie the bow and open up your bag and there it is So yeah, that's pretty much it for how I make team gifts or rather how I made the Geneva team gifts I cannot stress this enough how much I absolutely love doing these things like if you guys know me You know that I'm super creative and crafty. I love making things. I love making clothes I love designing things like it's just literally just one of my passions So I love being able to express that and combine it with another one of my passions, which is cheer Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it um, I am planning on making this a series on my channel for every time we do make team gifts So let me know if that's something that you'd like to see like this video if you enjoyed it Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yeah I'll see you super soon in my next vlog, which is a really good one, so stay tuned for that. Bye!